Hey everybody, welcome back. Here, we're gonna do a little video on how to put the 400EX carb on 85 350X Honda three-wheeler. Um, I don't know, I've been looking around, I haven't really found a video that someone's done on installation or really a whole lot of info on it to begin with. So um, there's some tips here and there, but apparently it's a bolt-on deal. Um, I haven't even really looked at the carb on this thing yet because it's kind of buried up in there pretty well, but I did get a Honda Genuine carburetor for 400EX in the mail. I haven't even taken it out of the package yet, but there it is. Bone stock. This thing looks freaking huge, really. Uh, a lot bigger than the 200X carb I've rebuilt. So anyways, I'm going to kind of do a little tutorial on how I go about this. Um, just looking at it so far, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the tank off. The air box, and then we'll be able to get to the car, or the, not the, so much the air box, but more so the inlet. And I know you might have to massage this on the inside a little bit, but we'll see once we get down to it. Um, so I'll get the tank off, and then we'll go from there. Here's the carburetor out of the package. It's a beastly thing. Um, I just can't get over how big it is. But anyways, here's your choke set up here. Your fuel inlet. This must be the side that goes to the motor. I'm pretty sure it goes on there like this. So somehow the throttle cable is going to have to go in here under this cover. So I'm not sure how that works yet. So we'll see once I get, get the three-wheeler opened up a little bit. Okay, got the tank off. Just two 12-millimeter bolts. And then your fuel line off the petcock. And I'll just pull back off. Now you can kind of see where the carburetor is here. I see here's where the throttle goes in, just like the other one. So I'm going to take this off here and then probably try to open that up maybe and see what it looks like in there. We just got a couple bolts there. Oh, I see. There's a, Okay, so there's a screw. There's a screw in this side where it slides into there. So we'll do those things and come back. Okay, so I got the two screws out of that. Took that off. Loosened up the screw up front here, got that off, and then the carb, I could just pull it and wiggle it right on out of there. So, pretty painless so far. It's going really fast and easy. Now I'll open up this and we'll see what we got to do to get that out of there. Hopefully it's not too much trouble. Okay, I got the side cover off. You can see here how it all works. So what you're going to do is take that little, take this little dude, I'll Pivot it up by hand, pull it out, like that, and that's loose. Now I can just twist it right off of there. So, and then the other carb, same process, just reverse. See, this one has an accelerator pump. One reason people love it. So we'll screw this carb on, put the little hoochie down in there, and then we'll start assembly. Okay, we got the new throttle cable on there. I still got a little slop in it. Um, you can adjust some of it here by how far in that goes. I've got it just about flush with the bottom. Um, I'm going to do the rest of the adjusting up here to get some of the slack out, but we're getting full throttle yet. It just has a little more play than I like right at the bottom. So Now I'll put that cover on and then we're going to do the fun. Worst part of the whole process is getting them to fit in these rubber boots because these are bigger than what the factory size is. So apparently it's kind of fun to get them to fit. So hopefully I don't have to take this off here. I'm wondering if I can just heat it up really good with a heat gun and shove it in there. So we'll give that a try and I'll let you know what works. Okay, I got it in there. I did end up taking this other tube off here. So I figured if I got to massage that, I'll, I'll do that um, after the fact. But it was kind of fun to get it in there. <coughs> Got my Harbor Freight heat gun here. So what I did is I ran around and got got the rubber intake boot, whatever you want to call that thing, pretty warm. And then just kind of start test fitting and get it down in there and start pushing. And I got it most of the way, probably about one, because there's two lips on that thing, right? Two rings. You'll see here on the old one. And I got the first ring of the new carb in there. The second one, I just couldn't get it there. So I took the heat gun Heated it up again, um, make sure you take the screw all the way out of this clamp because it really 
Like this is tight. You can see how much is left sticking out. It's almost too small, but it works now. But anyways, so I got this super hot again while this was partially in there. And I got the old block of wood and a hammer and I put a piece of wood on here and started tapping with the hammer. And I did finally get her to punch in there after a couple times of heating and a little bit of tapping. So it's in there, it's solid. Um, I wasn't sure this hose would still fit, but it seems to have clearance once everything's in place. It's kind of a bitch to get it in place. This little accelerator pump, if it's not all the way in properly, will hit on the cross tube of the frame in there. Um, it's, like I said, it's a little bit of fun to get it in there, but let me see if I can turn the light on on this thing. Uh, I don't see an option. Anyways, now I'm gonna see about um, massaging this to fit in place and then seeing what I'm gonna have to massage on that other intake part uh, to make it fit. But so far, we're doing good, so progress. Okay, I'm test fitting this tube here and you can see and the problem is whatever this black thing is, Oh, that's the arm for the choke. Um, and this, of course, has a wide spot right where it sh you would hope it wouldn't have a wide spot. So I don't know if I can heat that up with a heat gun and kind of squish it. And the reason they probably did that is because it goes in to clear that on this side. So to get more volume, um, I'm going to try heating it up with the heat gun a little bit, see if I can kind of massage that out of the way. And uh, I think the rest will probably clear. This will be... This will be tight, but I think it'll have okay clearance. Sorry, clearance there. But so it's just that dude right there. So I'll be right back. All right, so here's where I'm really struggling. And this actually really freaking sucks. Trying to get these tubes to fit when the other carb is way bigger, um, you know, on both ends. So I've heated this one a couple times and I just kind of shove it on there and let it cool down, hoping maybe I can teach it to be a little bigger. Um, but gosh, it's just a mofo to get on. I see it's still not all the way on. You can see, here's the little rib that needs to be inside here. I just, I can't get it on all the way. And I can't get it on no matter what I try. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep trying. But um, so far this one stupid hose is taking longer than the whole carb install. It's kind of pissing me off a little bit, so. Anyways, if you got better tips, please leave them down in the comments for the next people that have to do this. So, wish someone made a video like this to help the rest of us before today. So anyways, I'll be back once I figure it out. All right, well, I got it on. I'm not happy about how I had to do it. I really didn't want to have to modify anything, you know what I mean? So if I wanted to put the stock carb on, it wouldn't be a deal. Um, but I did whip out my Dremel and I had to grind out the inside of this tube just a little bit. And I'm still still wondering if it's, I'm pretty confident it's sealing good. I'm just wondering if I should try to make it better. Um, <coughs> this screw here is barely going through because it's so much bigger, uh, but I'm gonna run it and see if I like the carb at this point. Since everything is in place, um, we'll give it a test. And if I don't like it, I guess I can put the stock carb back on. I wasn't really having problems with the stock carb. <clears throat> Everybody talks about just how much better throttle response is, cold starts, hot starts, all the starts, all the running, uh, just everything all around sounded like it's better. So just stock jetting so far. They say to do that, see what you need, see how it runs. Looks like that's clearing good. Everything should be good to go. So I'm just gonna put the tank on and then we'll see if we can get a fire up here. Okay, a couple more points of interest. So when you take the tank off and set it on the ground, try to make sure it's not resting on these little deals. Mine was resting on that one. Now I don't know if it was that bent before. See, it's got a little more curve in the bottom. I could probably heat that up and straighten it. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be. I'll do this little research. But anyways, the next thing is the fuel. You probably can't see it, but where the fuel tubing goes onto the carb here, this is a bigger diameter as well. So you're gonna have to do some trickery to get that. What I did is I took my existing fuel tubing, put a needle nose in the end of it and opened it and held it for a little bit to expand it. 
and then I could get it enough to where I could feed it on there. Um, that's pretty fun. So anyway, so far it's complete. Uh, we're gonna put the seat on, see how many kicks it takes to get a fire up here, and we'll go. I don't have a good way to hold the phone and start it, so you're gonna have to just bear with me here. Okay, we got it running. It didn't take that many kicks, it just the idle, factory idle was a little too low, so I cranked that up. Um, it did a first pop on high choke, full choke, so then I put it to half choke, turned the idle up a little more, another kick or two, she was going. So far so good, it's a little cold, so I'm gonna take it outside and give her a little test rip and see what I think. Okay, just got done doing a little test run. Um, so far so good. I'll have to figure out probably the new starting sequence for the new car, but I just got done taking a little rip around the field. You can see it's dirty. Throttle response, definitely a little better. Um, for me, it's not a day and night difference. I don't know if it's worth the 160, 70 bucks I paid, but I guess we'll see long-term as far as, you know, hot and cold starts and, and that sort of thing. That'll make it, uh, difference in the leg but let's see how many kicks it takes here it's hot it's on kick. there you go seems to be jetted okay i don't know i have no bogs no hesitations uh, you give it the gas and she goes Give me a thumbs up.